I wasn't going to tell you, but I'll be on vacation for the next two Sundays. But before I leave town, I want to make sure you understand something very, very clearly. Because somebody just might ask you, are they going to be having same-sex marriages at your church? And I want you to know how to respond. You don't have to say, well, I don't know. Right. I don't want you to say, well, well, let me see. I want you to be able to say, my pastor said that as long as he's the pastor of Morning View Baptist Church, there will be no same-sex marriages performed at Morning View Baptist Church. And young people, I just want you to know that no matter what the Supreme Court says, Amen. God is higher than the Supreme Court. Amen. And God said in Leviticus 18.22 that if a man lie with a mankind as a womankind, it is an abomination. So God said it's an abomination. So don't be fooled because the Supreme Court said it's okay. And because you see it on TV, and because you see it in the newspaper, don't be fooled. God's word has not changed. And God said it's wrong. That it's an abomination. And so I could not let this day go by without making my position known before I leave town. Because I don't want nobody to ask you and you not know how to respond to what's going to happen at your church. Now, I don't know if they can put me in jail or not. We got a judge back there that can tell us whether or not they can put me in jail. If they do, y'all better take up an offer to come get me. <laughs> judge said, judge, the judge said they can't put me in jail. <laughs> well, thank you, judge. <laughs> We got Judge Thompson sitting back there, so he know the law. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and so we're going to have this prayer, and we're going to continue with this celebration. Let us pray. Father God, we just come to you right now in the name of Jesus. And thanking you so much for this day. God, you are a good God, the God, the only one and living God. And Lord, she's no longer a candidate, but she's you. So God, we thank you so much for the baptism. We thank you, God, and we pray that someone else will come today. That's what this is all about, coming to your house and souls will be saved. Now we ask you, God, as Gabrielle grows, that we, as her relatives, her parents, her grandparents, and her church family, that we will be examples, God. That we will do the right thing, God. And even when we mess up, God, we'll be big enough to say we were wrong and forgive. Now, God, we just thank you and thank you that a hedge of protection has been placed around her. We thank you, God, that Satan can't help. We just thank you, God. We just really do. And me as a grandmother, God, we pray for this day. And I thank you. But I acknowledge you. God, now we thank you. Continue to bless this service and the young people. And we pray it all in the name of Jesus. Amen.